each week we come out and talk to you guys about different things that are trending in the media. This week with the election close, so close, we're going to do a tale of two cities. We're going to go to Windsor, Ontario, Canada, and then we're going to head back to Detroit, Michigan and talk to some folks here at the Clinton campaign. Um, it's emotionally exhausting. Um, we have a lot of people who come in who are both Canadian and American because this is a border city and they have some very strong opinions. We're on the surge here. We're at the uh, Hillary uh, Clinton rally in, uh, in uh, Eastern Market, Detroit. My name is Harry. I'm with the uh, Vote for Owl uh, project. Um, we're, we're actually disgusted with Trump and Hillary. We don't like Trump because he's a fascist. Uh, kind of a-hole and Trump and Hillary's kind of a liar I and mean, I don't really can't trust her. I wanted to make sure that I came in and support Hillary and make her know that we love her. God bless you uh, Mr. Trump. Yeah well, I got a sign I hand painted. Um, I used to drive a bus in Livingston County and I had special needs riders and I treated them with respect. When Donald Trump mocked that disabled reporter I got my paintbrush out. And I thought of the three things that he said that bothered me the most, not policy, but about him. It's tearing people down. Um, I think it's very scary. Um, I've been following a lot of it uh, because uh, I do live in Windsor and it's a border city and I have a lot of American friends and people that I care about. Um, and it's, it's very scary and uh, mostly Donald Trump. Uh, I, I was hoping Bernie would be the a Democratic nominee, but that didn't happen, so Hillary will be very good, um, and hopefully she wins, because Trump scares me greatly. And uh, it's just commendable to see this guy, Donald Trump, give up a billionaire lifestyle and basically take on the establishment on his own on his own dime. Like I said, in one year, he's taken on the Bush family, uh, the, the corrupt Democrat party, uh, the mainstream media, George Soros, and he's calling these people out by name. He's telling these people they're global puppets. And it's very refreshing to see people, uh, someone speak the truth uh, in this beat down, politically correct world that he basically blew the roof off of. So, And anyone that is looking for a perfect person, you're not going to find him on this planet. No one's perfect. I know Hillary's not, but she'd be a heck of a lot better than Donald Trump. Let's get rid of Hillary Bush, you know, the Bush family, Obama, Clintons, just a globalist, elitist, you know. They're all in on it together. The bankers, the mainstream media. I think it's time for something new. Drain, drain the swamp, start over here. Everything he says is misogynistic and racist and homophobic and transphobic and any other thing you could possibly think of. I remember when Bill Clinton was in the White House, my daughter was born, and because of Bill Clinton and the Family Medical Leave Act, I was able to take time off to be with my wife when my daughter was born, and when my mom had some uh, medical problems, I could take time off because of that. So the Clintons will do that for us. And um, the contrast between the states and Canada um, is, is very big, I think, to me. Um, we just passed, Canada just passed an anti-Islamophobia motion. Um, compare that to the states where they're saying they're going to deport all the Muslims. I mean, not everyone in the states, Donald Trump in particular, but I think it's, it's a very big contrast and I'm very, very happy uh, to be living in uh, Canada, uh, both as someone with a disability and as a trans person. Um, and I'm very happy that we have these protections here and I really, really hope that Donald Trump does not get elected and that America can maintain the gains they've made with Obama in terms of equality and uh, progress. And for our Canadian friends, I have to remind them that it's not their country, so you know, while their opinion is meaningful to them, they, it, they don't have the same weight on their shoulders as the Americans do, and they're not invested in the same way as the Americans are. Uh, as, as an American being in Canada, watching how fast the electoral process was here in Canada, uh, it was 62 days, I think. It was very fast, and they considered that ridiculously long here. And then uh, I think three days after he was in office, he started implementing some of his platform. Um, so it was, it was just amazing to watch. Well, I think the campaign's been going well, but I think the debates have been the most informative. 
because you could see Donald Trump has a few quick words he can say and then he fades out. He runs out of steam and then the true personality comes out. I think the campaign is going great. I think that we need to focus on the issues and all the wonderful things that she stands for and, uh, and I think she'll do wonderful. I think the legitimizing of hate in this country that has happened during this campaign has dragged many a noble person down. I think that they are very uh, violent and I think that uh, they just do not know what they're talking about. Oh, he paid a lot of payroll taxes, 15.3 percent. Same thing, yeah. same thing. That you, yeah, he would have paid no taxes. That's what keeps the world going around. I'm sorry. There's no. nothing illegal about it. Uh, excuse me, can I see the tax right. things? I don't. Uh, can I say something about the taxes? Yeah. Uh, I do taxes for a living. Every single one of my clients takes the maximum amount of deductions. Every single one of them. And the IRS and the and the, uh, the Treasury, they're, they're sending billions of dollars to Iran. So we have the International Bank there. I mean, why would anybody want to support that with their tax money? If it was going to the inner city, if it was going to the bridges, if it was going to something to build our infrastructure, if it was going to help our country, everybody would be more inclined to pay taxes. But here's the bottom line. The Republicans, since I've been alive, have basically ignored the inner city. The Democrats have basically destroyed the inner city. They only care about the votes of the inner city. They don't do anything once, it's, once after the election. And I think a lot of people are waking up to that. After Obama, they thought it would be something different. And it's basically the same thing over and over again. And uh, we want this economy to improve, and we want um, there not to be wars and things like that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's obviously that the media is uh, doing everything they can to support Hillary. It's obviously that the Wall Street, the international bankers, all, all, all the establishment is going for Hillary. If you have any questions for me, I'll tell you anything. I went to both conventions. I've seen it all. I saw what the DNC did to the Bernie protesters, and I see that Trump is kind of a jerk. I persevere in believing that smart, intelligent, fact-based, reality-based campaigning will win out. I know that if people go out and vote and vote for the right person, which I think I've made clear who that would be, um, that hopefully they can, the, the states can continue to become more progressive and more inclusive. Um, I will stay here as long as the Canadians allow me to stay here. I absolutely love it here. Um, hopefully it's a, it's a fair, fair level playing field here, and hopefully it's not a big system. That's all we're hoping for here. And any of the people that are kind of reluctant, thinking hard about it, think real hard. Michigan's going to be close. If Trump wins Michigan, he's probably going to be president. And is that something you can live with? I explored options. I, it's like I dated both girls, and I, I, I'm not. I'm now going to, you know, date somebody else. Like I think an owl is our best choice. Honestly, I'm discussing with American politics. All right, folks. So once again, we came out to get a lot of different opinions. We spoke to people in Windsor, Ontario, and we spoke to people in the Motor City here in Detroit. We got a lot of different people to talk to us. Democrats, Republicans, Bernie supporters, Hillary supporters, and Trump supporters. So everyone, thank you so much for your input. Well, guys, don't forget, everyone's opinion is valid. Let's all take the time to listen.